The world of wrestling reacts to Renee Paquette's and John Moxley's pregnancy announcement. Charlotte Flair is teasing a WWE return and the Thunderdome finds a new home. Hello everyone, Jose G here bringing you today's top five stories in today's Sports Kita News Update. The wrestling world reacts to Renee Paquette and John Moxley expecting their first child. During his promo on AEW Dynamite, John Moxley revealed that he and his wife Renee Young, or Renee Paquette, are expecting their first child together. In the promo, Moxley subtly said, and now the whole world is bearing down on me. My body feels like hell. I can't even get out of bed this morning. I have a pregnant wife at home. While Tony Khan was the first to confirm the news by congratulating Renee Paquette, Renee also posted an adorable photo alongside John Moxley on Instagram. Several personalities from the world of wrestling reacted and sent messages to the former WWE personality on the IG post, and one of them was from Seth Rollins. The Messiah was actually one of the first to react to John Moxley's revelation about his wife's pregnancy. In case you didn't know, Seth Rollins recently posed alongside Becky Lynch for his wife's first maternity photo shoot. Charlotte Flair teases a WWE return with two tweets also makes a big comment about Ronda Rousey. Charlotte Flair last appeared on WWE TV in June earlier this year in an unsuccessful Raw Women's Championship match against Asuka. The Queen went on to take a rare hiatus from WWE TV, primarily to go under a surgery to fix an implant issue. However, Charlotte Flair was also been making waves outside the realms of professional wrestling as she recently became the first pro wrestling athlete to sign a deal with Vanier Sports Agency. Charlotte Flair is one of the biggest women superstars in the company, and she dropped a massive hint about a possible WWE return on Twitter. Charlotte Flair tweeted out an old photo of her posing in her in-ring outfit. WWE uploaded the full match between Ronda Rousey and Charlotte Flair from Survivor Series 2018 on the company's website, while also putting out a gift from the match on Twitter. Charlotte Flair reacted to the tweet and took a shot at Ronda Rousey, saying, quote, the night Ronda stopped wanting to be a wrestler, in my opinion, end quote. As of this report, Ronda Rousey has yet to respond to Charlotte's flair comment. WWE Thunderdome reportedly moving to Tropicana Field. With the NBA season starting back up in December, the WWE has in the Amway Center is quickly running out. It's not a surprise that the company has been proactive with this knowledge as it relates to finding a new location to house their critically acclaimed Thunderdome. In the past 24 to 48 hours, news has come out that WWE plans to move their Thunderdome to Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida, the current home of the Major League Baseball franchise Tampa Bay Rays. In an amusing historical tidbit, when the Tampa Bay Lightning was there in the early 90s, the stadium was actually called the Thunderdome. So it's kind of poetic that this will be WWE's next landing spot for their television programming. Yesterday, WrestleVotes went onto Twitter to give the latest update on WWE's big move and their plans to throughout the WrestleMania season during the first half of 2021. According to them, WWE plans on housing the Thunderdome at the Tropicana Field from mid-December all the way to WrestleMania in April of 2021. Talks of holding the Royal Rumble with fans potentially in the same venue are very much still being discussed, but nothing is finalized at this time for the pay-per-view's location. WWE has a long-term plan in place to return to regular arena shows with fans and is targeting the night after WrestleMania to make this dream a reality. With the world constantly changing daily, obviously plans as this can change at any moment's notice. But it seems this is currently the direction that WWE is trying to go. And at the moment, time will tell if this plans come to fruition or not. But for the time being, at least WWE has a plan. The Undertaker on having one more match at Survivor Series. The Undertaker is set to bid his final farewell to the WWE Universe at Survivor Series 2020. It was November 22nd, 1990 at Survivor Series when The Undertaker made his WWE debut, and this Sunday at the very same pay-per-view will complete his massive 30 years with the company. Ahead of his final farewell, The Undertaker sat down with Vibe and Wrestling to talk about his career and upcoming appearance. During the interview, he was asked whether fans could see him having one more match at Survivor Series, to which The Undertaker replied, quote, I don't know yet what we're gonna do, although I can tell you for sure that I will be at Survivor Series. Who knows? Never say never, but what you can sure be of is that I'll be live at Survivor Series. So we'll just have to wait and see how things develop between now and November 22nd. 
end quote. It was five years ago at Survivor Series 2015 when The Undertaker last competed at this pay-per-view. In what was his 25th anniversary with the company back then, he teamed up with Kane to take on Bray Wyatt and Luke Harper of the Wyatt family. The Undisputed Era seemingly confirms War Games match with Pat McAfee and his team. This week's episode of WWNXT went off the air with the Undisputed Era brawling with Pat McAfee and his new faction consisting of Pete Dunne and the NXT Tag Team Champions Oni Lorcan and Danny Burch. McAfee and his crew tried to gang up on the NXT Champion Finn Balor, who returned to the black and gold brand after weeks of being sidelined with a broken jaw. After the show went off the air, it seems that NXT General Manager William Regal appeared at ringside to announce that the UE will settle their score with Pat McAfee's group in a War Games match at TakeOver. War Games that will take place on December 6th. The moment was caught on camera by WWE superfan Izzy. Taking to Twitter, Undisputed Era's Roderick Strong posted a video where Adam Cole and the rest of the Undisputed Era can be seen confirming their match with McAfee and his crew that call themselves the kings of NXT. Cole reiterated, the fact that they have been the most dominant faction in the black and gold brand since their arrival and promised to put an end to McAfee's career as a wrestler. Thanks for watching today's Sports Kita news update. Follow us on all of our social media. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Download the Sports Kita app from the App Store for the most up-to-date news stories in the world of wrestling.